has this made you question your punch resistance? No. Has it gone? No. <laughs> you can't, like I said, if you fight for long enough, eventually something's going to happen. It happened to me. It happens to everybody. Um, you know, he's been, he's been hurt before. It doesn't mean that uh, he can't take a shot. What's the last message? Liam. Enjoy your camp, Chris, with, with all your superstars. This could be your last one. Has this made you question your put? What's going on, people? It's your man, the YB, back once again. So, it's official. Eubank Jr., a.k.a. Eubambi Jr., and Liam Smith 2, September 2nd. And you know what? On a different note, I do have to say, boxing's, apart from Tyson Fury, boxing is actually heating up. We've got Inoue in Fulton. I think it's on Wednesday, a bit of a random one. Then we've got Spence Crawford. Then we've got, well, if you like it, you got Jake Paul. Jake Fake Paul <laughs> versus Nate Diaz. Then you've got AJ and White. Then you've got something at the end of August, I'm sure. Then you've got Charlo and whoever. Then you've got Joyce and Zhang. And now we've got this. So it's actually popping off. Anyway, to the point. You've seen the leaked sky. Gloves are off. Snippet here. Um, Eubank. It happens to everyone. It doesn't happen to everyone. I can't lie to you. Yeah, It didn't happen. To be fair though, it did happen to Lennox. Lennox, Lennox got caught, didn't he? got sparked so yeah i guess it essentially if it can happen to lennox it probably can happen to anyone who don't put their chops on but even mike tyson mike tyson never got clipped and sparked out did he he was always just tired i think the buster douglas one wasn't he wasn't sparked he was knackered kind of thing but eubank was sparked like lennox was in that sense there was lennox had nothing to do with cardio he was out he had no consciousness left kind of thing so i don't know it doesn't happen to everyone Canelo's never been clipped. Triple G's never been clipped. And been starched. So, it don't happen to everyone. And to be quite frank, Eubank was probably, obviously, he's not the level of Triple G or Canelo, but at one point, you might have put him in that category. Yeah, Eubank. In fact, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ask my wallet. Yeah, say what? Listen, someone out there needs to ask the YB's wallet how much it believed. Yeah, I thought, listen, no word of a lie. I put, a, I think, I'm not sure, it was about 800 bucks yet on Eubank to win on points. And then I hedged. No, sorry. What was it, 800 bucks to win, for Eubank to win? Something like that, I forgot now. And I hedged it. I thought, okay, I'm pretty confident this fight's going to go to points. So I'll bet on it going to points for either man. Yeah, the fight going the distance. Yeah, so it worked out. If Liam Smith won on points which was the only way I conceived of him winning, <laughs> I would have kind of broke even. Oops. So I lost that money and I lost the Eubank money. Tragic. Yeah, the one thing that was never meant to happen, he got sparked. So one thing for sure, Chris, yeah, whether it happens to everyone or not, make sure you turn up with your chops on this time. Not long. Listen, you might as well not for what, as far as I'm concerned, because there's not one more coin going on you again, mate, after that. Shocker. And to be fair, Chris was dominating until he wasn't. You know what I mean? So I can't knock him in that sense. It, yeah, he was He was looking good until he wasn't. Yeah, he was looking good until the first punch landed and he was out of it. All the way out. Yeah. Liam Smith, to his credit, elbow or not, he struck out of the park. And that's the end of that. Eubank were never going to get even a bit back into the fight. However, this rematch, even though I didn't think it was supposed to happen in as much as... Like I said, I thought Eubank was going to clown this guy. And he was. He was clowning Smith until he wasn't. <laughs> Classic sporting one. Someone years ago told me why I'd be, don't bet on sports because they're inherently uncertain and random. I thought, listen, you just don't know it like I know it. Oops. He was <laughs> he was 100% right, man. You can't bet on this crap. It's all a big... It's all, yeah. There's no... Yeah, you can't get no consistency in the gambling game in sports. Or any, probably in anything. Truth be known. Because you have no control. You know, I have no control if Chris Ubambi Jr. decides to turn up with his chops on or not, do I? You don't know that. I mean, who would have guessed it? Like I said, yeah? Looking at every piece of available information, you'd have thought there's no way the first shot Liam Smith lands is going to send Eubank to Pluto. Yeah? There's no way. 
the first shot Leah Smith lands is going to have you, Bambi Jr., star in the next Bambi movie. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? No, no way. There's no way. Eubank going to be in the next Disney movie here and there. He's starring. Yeah. We know recently they've been doing a lot of remakes, Lion King and that lot. You best believe it. There's a Bambi, a Bambi deer, <laughs> a Bambi deer Disney remakes coming and Eubank, he got the head spot. Yeah, he's going to be playing the voice. He's going to be in that little green screen suit doing all the act. Because he got, he had down to a teacher, you've been known. Yeah, Bambi on ice. That's what they're going to call it. I believe it. That's what they're calling the reboot. Bambi on ice. And they're going to, Bring Chris in to do <laughs> to do the green screen because he got it. Like I said, there's no one in the business right now, in the movie business, who can get that Bambi on ice green screen down like Eubank did. Yeah, it's just wow, damn. He really been training for that role, and that's what his dad said. Chris Senior said this guy had been in Hollywood too much, and it makes sense now. Yeah, because Chris was clearly preparing for the new Bambi reboot. He wasn't preparing for a fight, and that's why he didn't turn up with his chops on. Yeah. I can, truth be known, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, this, this is another, there's a reason I put this in the category of, well, obviously, it's not Spence and Crawford, but in terms of, Spence and Crawford's interesting because it's 50-50. Eubank and Smith now, for me, because I have to admit, even though Eubank was dominating until he wasn't, he did look a bit jittery. And that's been the case for a while now. He put down Liam Williams four times, and he still looked a bit iffy. He didn't, he didn't want to commit for it, which was the inverse. Normally, Eubank was the guy who was overcommitting. In the last few years, he's been really quite reserved. And one thing for sure, if you're reserved against Liam Williams, who you've put down four times for twelve rounds, and you're reserved against Liam Smith for the first four rounds. What happens now you've been clipped with a first shot that landed? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is going to be, again, obviously, Lee, well, I'd like to think Liam Smith's the favourite here. But, yeah. Yeah, I, if I had to put money on someone, it would be Liam Smith because, yeah, you bank going to be doubting himself. Or if he, it's a fact. And Liam Smith pointed this out at the time. He said, why was Chris boxing me like he was scared for his life and he was it was it was odd Eubank was proper I he didn't really want to engage and then he engaged and got clipped kind of thing but it wasn't a confident engage he was like getting off because Smith was just standing there with his hands up but he, Eubank was backpedaling the whole way and I haven't really seen him hold his feet until really he got clipped truth be known so is this I've been saying this but is that a sign did has Eubank known for a few years now, his chops has gone. That's why he's turned... It's all well and good saying, well, he brought Roy Jones in and he's turned into a boxer. Mm. The only time I've seen people make that kind of change is people like AJ. Yeah, AJ was a bruiser, heavy-handed. He gets put down by Klitschko and he was never really the same again. And then obviously the Ruiz finished him up. Whatever was left of AJ was completely finished, extinguished. Any fire that was left, yeah... It was gone with Ruiz. So, the point I'm making is, Eubank hadn't been knocked out yet, but he was jittery in them fights. Why is it sparring? Now, his dad said that Junior hasn't been sparring. Why not? From what I've heard, Junior used to look... In fact, if anything, Junior was the guy over sparring. He used to love to spar with Carl Froch and that. So why has he stopped sparring for? Do you know what I mean? James Tony who's to this day still got a, a rock solid chin or certainly did to the end of, towards the end of his career or certainly did in the prime of his career all he does is spar yeah for someone to stop sparring who used to love to spar you have to ask why yeah because the bag don't hit back as we know the pads don't hit back so and it, put these things together he don't spar anymore he looks jittery in the fight he just got clipped with a first shot that landed. By all due respect, you, Liam Smith is not a big puncher. He's just not. He's not. If Liam Smith can send you to Pluto with one shot, that in itself says there's something iffy going on. But either way, I respect Eubank. Eubank, from what I've heard, he could have just cashed out with the Conor Ben fight. And to be quite frank, I think he probably will. I think that may that might be the play. 
you know what, if I get beat by Liam again, Ben's always going to be hanging around, kind of thing. But either way, I respect Eubank for taking this. He could have said, oh no, yeah, I respect Eubank for taking it. He done what he's supposed to do, yeah? You go back and run it again. And by the way, I do also have to mention it was Liam's, this fight's been rescheduled about three times. All of them been Liam Smith. So, injury, you can call it injuries, you can call it what you want, but I respect Eubank because Eubank really had a perfect kind of get out clause. This guy keeps cancelling, I'm moving on. But he's stuck with it and he's going for it, so yeah, man. And obviously, I'd rather Eubank win for what it's worth. But this is a 50-50. Joyce Zhang, similar kind of stuff. Honestly, in the next two months, it's going to be mad. Joyce Zhang, Eubank Smith, AJ, AJ and White's probably the worst one of all of them, truth be known. Just, I don't see them, I don't see any, yeah, I don't see them turning up with their heads on, truth be known. Yeah, the same way Eubank didn't turn up with his chops on, I don't see Dillian White or AJ turning up with their heads on. And that's been the case for the last few fights. Both of them flapped against Franklin. Anyway, excited. Whoever wins is going to obviously deserve it. If Eubank's able to pull this off, salute to him. This is actually, I'd say this is Eubank's world title shot. Yeah, people say Billy Joe's a world champion. I don't think he is, personally. Why? Who's he beat? Who has Billy Joe beat? He went life and death with, with Eubank. Okay, who else he beat? I can't tell you anyone Billy Joe's beat. So, Eubank coming back from this adversity to beat Smith is world title shit. Um, is world title well? It's not. It's not Canelo level. But I'm saying, if Billy Joe can nick a, I think Billy Joe fought someone like Razimov, some random one of them once, and he got a bet. He nicked about a 168. Yeah. So if this is the equivalent for me, so I, if Eubank comes back and wins this, I don't hear no more about he ain't a world champion because essentially he is. He shouldn't really win this one. This is world championship level, in my opinion. Now, from Eubank's point of view, and to be even, you know what? Even Leon Smith. I believe Liam Smith's been a world champion, but if Liam Smith smokes Eubank again, no one ain't never done that. No one did it the first time. But I do have to say, this does have a bit of a Bell U versus, um, hey, I can't lie to you. That's why I said if I had to put money anywhere, it'd be going on on Smith, which probably means Eubank's going to spark him in a round. You know what I mean? I'm <laughs> I, had someone the other guy, I had someone the other day tell me, why be put money on what was it? Put money on something so that we definitely get the other <laughs> result, you know? What was it? I don't know what it was. It was one of them ones. Why would we put a bag on this? Because that means the other one will definitely happen. I thought, yeah, man, good point. <laughs> anyway, interesting times. Let me know if you thought. Smash the like button, subscribe, and leg off the bell 100%. No doubt.